All right, Nisa just dropped the next character trailer on us quite uh, unexpectedly. I, I thought it would have been today, but uh, no, they were like, no, nah, it's t they were like, no, nah, it's Tuesday. Here you go. Also, it's Aaron instead of Fairy, so they're going out of order. Uh, before I get off track, let me just <laughs> let me just watch this trailer first, then we can discuss things afterwards. I do gotta say, I really like Aaron's jacket. The 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 dragon print going around it. Uh, Kiryu would approve. Anyway, let's see what Howard Wang brings to the table, shall we? Rise of the Grendel. This old fart. We've got our own way of handling things around here. Hmm. Okay, the battle stuff is pretty good. Ooh. Oh, I quite like that. That was nice. Legend of Heroes, trails through daybreak. Damien, what? From here, a new trail begins. Why you gotta hog the spotlight, Damien? I know you're the main character, but <laughs> you gotta give other characters time to shine, man. Come on. So. <sighs> Rise of the Grendel, why? Why not? Langport literally has like eight songs that you could have chosen f from <laughs> for Aaron that all would have fit him. Stay out of this old fart. We've got our own way of handling things around here. Okay, so this line is just an extended version of the line that he says in the trailer. Um, it's, it's, it's more of a just casual talking line. Um, it sounds fine. I do think he maybe could have a bit more of a raspy nature to his voice, because Aaron is a delinquent. He's part of a gang, so in typical Yakuza fashion, he has more of a eh. I, I, I can't do the voice, but <laughs> he has more of like a, a just what you would expect from like a typical how a typical thug would sound. Uh, here, I'll, I'll I'll play a couple clips for you guys so you can get an, a rough idea. Hey, you're so yeah, as you could as you could tell, he's he's got sort of a, a brash nature to his voice. He's hot tempered, hot blooded. He's not really big on manners. He's like a mix of Randy and Ash, and a lot of people, myself included, liked Ash because he felt like a breath of fresh air amongst the cast because of his brash nature. But Aaron takes that quality of Ash and turns it up to 11. I'm also very curious how they'll translate certain things. Because Aaron calls Van an old man in the in the Japanese version. Stay out of this old fart. So in the English version it seems like they're they're going with the old fart. <laughs> Which <laughs> uh it's funny. Sure. We've got our own way of handling things. I'll accept here. it. Now this, yeah, this, the, the battle lines, the grunts, yeah, th those sound perfect to me. Legend of Heroes. Those sound great, and then Damien comes in and he's like, hey, you guys didn't forget about me, right? Oh hey, yeah, they have it right here. Aaron Wei is the leader of a local gang in Langport's Eastern Quarter, as well as a practitioner of the Gekka School of Swordsmanship. His skill and charisma have drawn the attention of the crime syndicate Heiyue, Wei, who seeks to recruit him as one of their executives. I, I mean, <laughs> spoilers in the description. I mean, it's Calvert. We knew Heiyue was going to be here. Come on. <laughs> Uh, this trailer didn't really give much like most of these trailers. I'd probably say Damien's was probably the best showing as far as getting a grasp for his voice. Uh, Agnes is pro I'd probably go in order of release, actually. Vans was- uh, Damien's was the best, Amelie's is second place, and then this is third place. I do wonder who will be next, because I could have sworn it would have been Fairy. I thought they were gonna go in order of who joins the party, but if they went with Aaron, 
Will we see Judith next week? Or Reset? Or Brigard? Maybe it'll be Quatra. <laughs> I don't know. I do wonder if they will do ones for the other characters, though. Certain returning characters, characters exclusive to this game, possibly other important characters, or maybe even the villains? That'd be kind of neat. Oh, right, and as far as me showing the Japanese voice clips, I don't use those as sort of a way to shame the English cast, to be like, oh, look at this is how it should, this is how the English should try to replicate. No, 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 no. I'm not here to say subs are better than dubs, or dubs are better than subs, or you, if, if you prefer one over the other, then that's bad. No, it's like, you play the game however you want. I do not care. I'm just using the voice clips as a way to sort of bridge the gap, to sort of just show off, hey, this is the style that the original voices go for, to sort of compare to the English cast and just see how closely they can match or w what different spin that the voice actor is trying to give the character. And so far, do I have any major complaints? No, not at all. Honestly, I think from these, again, these are very just tiny little snippets, just tiny little voice clips, just not even appetizers to the main course. So you, again, you really can't say much, but what is there, you can look at it and you can critique it and you can be, you can have your worries and your doubts and whatnot. I do need to see more of Howard Wang's interpretation of Eren as far as like the more casual conversations, but what they showed for the battle clips, no, oh, that sounded perfect for me. More gruff, more angry, in your face. And yeah, hey, why don't you guys let me know down below, what do you think of these trailers so far? Do you think these trailers are a waste of time? Do you think they could be better spent putting into putting those resources elsewhere into maybe a bigger trailer? Showcasing more things. Uh, as far as the little teaser trailers, I think they're I think they're fine. I think the clips that they show are kind of meh. But honestly, it's a trails game. <laughs> we need all the hype that we can drum up as possible because we want these games to keep selling so Malcolm can keep making more. Which is also why I'm kind of doing my part. <laughs> to make these videos <laughs> uh, because I also want to just keep keep the hype train going at the end of the day we're allowed to critique stuff we're allowed to look at at voice clips and trailer footage and the choice of background music why would they use rise of the Grendel that's the one that's the big that's my biggest complaint here why rise of the Grendel you literally have glittering city of Langport right there <laughs> guys <laughs> come on <laughs> Uh but it's that's what's that's what being a fan is all about, right? You can look at these things and you can critique them, but you can also appreciate them. You can do both. You can do both. There's there's no issues with with critiquing something that you enjoy. Honestly, I would say it's even it's much better than just being a blind fanboy about everything, which uh <laughs> I'm definitely not. Or at least I try not to be. Oh, okay, the fanboy does come out in me but with some things, but we don't talk about that. We're not talking about that right now. Thank you guys for being here and watching this tra little trailer with me. Listen to me ramble on. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like my content and you want to see more. I would greatly appreciate it. Every single one of you who hits that subscribe button really does help me out. More so than you could possibly imagine. I can't wait to see what trailer is next week, and I can't wait to keep just talking about this game and <laughs> fanboying <laughs> with the rest of you guys. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys go now. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Alright, what's next?